Hi, so today we're going to talk about how to set up an Apple TV with Systems Manager to deploy the Meraki Display application, although this could be any application, into kiosk mode with zero, and I mean zero touch provisioning. The only thing you'll have to do is plug the Apple TV into your TV, Ethernet, which is important, and power, and turn it on. We will need a few things for this. Apple's automated device enrollment, which we're not going to touch on today, finding the Meraki display in Apple's volume purchase program, setting up an ADE automated device profile and systems manager, the kiosk profile, and a couple of other things. So let's get started. So we're going to log into Apple's volume purchase program, either at business.apple.com or school.apple.com. Once we're logged in, we're going to click on Apps and Books on the left, and we're going to type in Meraki Display in the search bar. When this comes up, let's click on it. We're going to choose our VPP instance, and we're going to choose how many licenses we want to buy. Now, these are not Meraki licenses, these are VPP licenses. After some time, you'll get an email telling you that they've appeared. So we're going to go to VPP in the Meraki dashboard now, and we're going to click, if it's not already done, sync. And there's our Meraki display application. So now we're going to go to apps in the dashboard. We're going to click import and license TV application, select our VPP account, and there it is. So we can select that and import. And click Save. Once we've done that, we're going to go and search for the application. And there it is. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to change our targets. I'm going to say with any of the following tags, and I'm going to create a new tag called Meraki Display. What we're also going to ensure is that auto install is turned on. Let's click Save. Now we're going to create a new ADE profile. So I'm going to go to ADE and this should sync and show us all of our existing profiles. Now I'm going to select my Apple TV that's already in ADE and we're going to create a new setting. I'm going to call this Meraki Display and click Next. and we're going to skip all of the steps. It's essential that you skip all of the steps, else it won't be auto advance. We're going to click auto advance setup assistant here as well, and this is important. Click next, click next again, save and assign. And that's our ADE profile created. From here, we can also tag our device before it enrolls. So we're going to give it the Meraki display tag and click add. The next step is to create our kiosk or single app mode profile. So let's go to settings, click add profile, make sure it's device, click continue, and we'll give this a name such as Meraki display for Apple TV. We will change the scope of this with any of the following tags and find our Meraki display tag that we created earlier. We will click add settings on the left hand side, click tvOS, find our single app mode setting, choose tvOS on the top right hand corner and you'll see that we've got a Meraki display. Now what we can also do is prevent the device from going to sleep, which might be important on your use case. Click Save. And we're done. Thank you for watching.